Welcome to UK in Edgeson Commerce Classes. In this lecture, we are going to discuss commercial paper in detail. If you watch this channel for first time, subscribe right now for more commerce lectures. So let us understand what is commercial paper. What is commercial paper? The companies and financial institutions that can be borrow money by using the different kinds of financial instruments commercial paper is one of the major money market instrument commercial paper is a unsecured unsecured money market instrument it is issued in the form of it is issued in the form of usance promissory note usance promissory note then what is meant by here usance it has a maturity time after the date of issue and it is a promissory note because it involved promissory note in other words a promissory note of usance nature so the commercial paper is unsecured and unsecured and negotiable negotiable money market instrument it is issued by highly rated corporate entities it is issued by highly rated corporate entities to raise the short term funds for meeting the working capital requirement directly from the market instead of borrowing from the bank it is not a uh, commercial paper not usually backed by any form of collateral security any form of collateral security not backed by any form of collateral security so the commercial paper unsecured money market instrument so here the corporates corporates then primary dealers financial institutions are eligible to issue the commercial paper here there is a norm that the, the norm saying that there should be minimum credit rating or the credit rating or the credit rating should be a to and above credit rating should be a to and above so there are different type uh, credit ratings are there a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 so here the minimum credit rating should be a to and above then the range i mean the term here the term is 7 days to 7 days to 1 year it is normally issued denominations of rupees 5 lakh denominations of rupees 5 lakh and multiples thereof it is normally issued at a discount to face value that is maturity at face value that is redeemed at face value banks financial institutions then primary um, banks financial institutions primary dealers can hold the commercial paper only in the dmat form only in dmat form so there are certain conditions are required before coming for a commercial paper issue so let us know what are the conditions required for issuing the commercial paper first of all the issue should have minimum tangible net worth of minimum tangible net worth of 4 crore and issue should uh, have been sanctioned uh, working capital limit by bank financial institutions etc should have sanctioned working capital limit by banks financial institutions etc 
uh, moreover the bor uh, borrowal account is a standard asset and borrowal account is a standard asset and they are main conditions sanctioned these are the uh, major condition which are sanctioned by the issuer then uh, moreover uh, financial institutions can issue financial institutions can issue commercial paper should not exceed should not exceed 100 percentage of its 100 percentage of its net owned fund as per the latest balance sheet then who can hold or who can help this uh, commercial paper commercial paper can be held by individuals uh, individuals uh, non-resident indians nri nris foreign institutional investors uh, fi banks uh, the name of mutual funds uh, etc then what about the dematerialization of commercial paper the dematerialization of commercial paper is what the similar to uh, share similar to shares then the transfer of commercial paper uh, from one investor transfer of commercial paper uh, from one investor to another that is the demat account one demat account to another demat account is what similar to the off market transfer similar to off market transfer then any buying buying or selling buying and selling of the demat debt instruments the procedure involved for delivery or resumed of debt instrument is same as that of involved for the equity shares same as that of involved for the equity shares then what about the redemption of uh, commercial paper so here the one more person is involved that is ipa that is ipa means the issuing and issuing and paying agent issuing and paying agent ipa will open a redemption account with the depository participant ipa open redemption account with the depository participant ipa means the scheduled commercial bank act as what the ipa scheduled scheduled commercial banks act as ip so here the three pa uh, participants are the one is the issuer and then then ipa that is issuing and a paying agent then dp depository participant beneficial owner or actual owner beneficial owner or what actual owner transfer the securities before 3 pm one uh, 3 pm on uh, one uh, working day before the maturity to redemption account before the maturity to the redemption account which is opened by the issuing and paying agent then the ipa will make payment ipa um, that is issuing and paying agent will make payment to the uh, beneficial owner or what actual owner the let uh, let us understand what are the uh, benefits of this uh, commercial papers from the part of investors sorry issuers so let us discuss so low uh, low interest expenses low interest expenses as compared to the bank loans then what the access to uh, short term access to uh, short term fund then liquidity the investor recognition investor investor recognition and it, uh, it is a very easy and low cost of 
establishment easy and is and low cost low cost of establishment and another major uh, benefit to the investor is there is no collateral requirement no collateral requirements then from the part of investor what are the benefits so let's understand the one is it is a from the to the investors it is a highly uh, higher yield then attractive avenue for short term portfolio diversification attractive avenue for short term portfolio diversification and then it is a flexible that is say here the period is seven days to what uh, one year uh, flexibility then liquidity is another benefit so the major uh, demerits of uh, this uh, commercial paper is that from uh, to the investors it is a lack of lack of good secondary market lack of good secondary market lack of uh, so the investors um, uh, it is difficult for investors to sell the commercial paper before um, before its scheduled maturity date so the lack of good secondary market is the uh, one limitation or dangerous to the investors so i think you understand what is commercial paper Uh, subscribe channels right now for more commerce lectures thank you